What's up everybody, Mr. OG Games here. And today I just wanted to take a little look over at Realm 64 and the Alliance OCD. The reason I wanna do that is because, well, we have them coming up tomorrow, less than 24 hours from now in an elite war. And uh, it's gonna be a battle, that's for sure. Uh, as I discussed in the last video, OCD, I believe has been one of the number one or at least the top 10 ranked uh, alliances in Elite War and uh, I wanted to take a peek over at their realm and at their castles to see what levels they were and to see sort of what we were dealing with and uh, we're gonna go ahead and take that adventure now that way we can try to check out see what they have to offer see what we can guesstimate that we're up against as you know you never really know what somebody has because even though there are 34 they might not have barracks up for those t11s yet um, but i'd say probably at least 50 percent chance or more that they do being that they're an old realm and uh, they've had plenty of time to gather the azurite and resources needed to get those barracks up but let's go ahead and uh, find out where they're at here and then uh, check them out, see what they got going on and uh, see what we can uh, look forward to in our elite war. And uh, here's a, just a glimpse at the top three uh, here. And I'm not really worried about that, honestly. I'm here for one thing and one thing only and that's to see what the hell we're gonna be facing. Uh, my guess is going to be that they're going to have plenty of 35s, plenty of 34s, and they're all going to be armed with T11s and probably an ass ton of them. So let's see if I can't find them here. Most of the time, your bigger alliances have found their way around the mud. Let's see here. There we go. Let's see. Right off the bat right off the bat I'm seeing what I thought I would expect and that's plenty of high-level castles now I don't know what it will take for us to pull this victory off I mean I do actually I mean the biggest thing that it's gonna take is gonna take people actually being in the elite war and as you know You've got 100 members, you need at least 70 to 80 percent of those to show up and be active to battle an alliance of this magnitude. And uh, right now, like I said in the last video, lots of active people here and uh, it's, it's going to be a hard fought battle. I don't think that, and I'm hoping that uh, these guys in OCD don't take this lightly. If they do, they're gonna be very surprised how quickly we can manage to, uh, to take the lead and take the victory. But looking over, uh, you know, looking over the other things that we would need to do, and I've said it in previous Elite War videos, you've got to listen to the commander. Act, having active people and listening to the commander and no chat in the chat log is key to a victory now I've got faith in these guys and gals that I'm uh, playing with now that that is indeed the case elite wars are taken very seriously here and uh, I'm just excited to uh, to be in this first elite war going up against such a strong alliance in a strong realm and uh, you know just looking at all the castles here 34s 35s is primarily what I'm seeing uh, I have seen some 34s I'm sorry some 31s here and there some 32s some 33s uh, but a majority 34 35s and uh, that tells me right there that T11s are going to be 
are gonna be the, the troop of choice, of course. Now, unfortunately, I won't, and we can't really estimate the depth in which they have. Um, damn, look at that new skin, that looks pretty cool. Sorry, I just had to check that out. Um, not knowing the depth of the T11s, or if they're big spenders in healing once they have you know, taking their wounded to the hospital. I'm sure that's going to be the case too. I'm sure that the T11s are primarily going to be used round the clock. Uh, gems will be spent to heal and, uh, you know, they'll do what they've got to do to succeed. That's how they, that's how they were, you know, top dogs at one point. But, uh, me and a lot of us have a lot of depth in T10s. Uh, so, you know, don't underestimate the T10s. With the right setup, a T10 can be brutal. And uh, with the buffs on, it makes it, uh, it makes an equivalent to a non-buff T11 in my eyes. So I'm sure they're gonna have their buffs too. But I think we've got a good shot at this. And uh, I think we can uh, pull it off if we have the numbers together. Listen to the commander. And of course, kill that chat so we catch every single command but of course as you guys know smash the thumbs up button if you haven't I said that all wrong today I'm just excited subscribe I'll bring everything to you guys and I'll see you guys in the next one